this wallet, yes, this is Sid's wallet, as you can tell, because it looks like shit. Sid, my lovely, my lovely husband, Sid's lovely wallet, this is, yes. This wallet is the bane of my life, yes, it really is. This Steve Madden genuine leather wallet is ruining my life. The other day, I'm sitting down, I'm feeding Hannah, you know, as you do when you're a mum, you feed your child, and he walks in after basketball. Dina, where's my wallet? Dina, where's my wallet? Dina, have you seen my wallet? Have you seen my wallet? Babes, where did you put my wallet? I don't touch your wallet number one I do not touch your wallet you are the sole toucher of your crappy wallet okay I proceed to suggest to him some places where this lovely wallet of his could be and then he has a cheek to get annoyed with me he gets annoyed with me for suggesting where the wallet could be I cannot even deal I'm sitting down feeding the child and so I suggest to you where the wallet could be oh Sid maybe you left it in the car oh Sid maybe it's in your dance sport bag oh Sid maybe it's in your jeans pocket oh Sid maybe it's in the kitchen maybe it's on the shelf maybe it's whatever the hell you left it because I didn't touch your stupid wallet. He stands at the stairs like this and he's like, you could help, you know, instead of just suggesting like you could get up and look for it. Excuse me. I could get up and look for your wallet that you misplace every damn day. And every damn day it's either in your stupid Jansport bag, upstairs on your bedroom shelf, or in the flipping car where you left it when you came home. HSBC crap. A taste card, yeah, because he really uses that. You don't use that, Sid. A Boots Advantage card, yeah, because you, you really use your Boots Advantage card, don't you? There's no money in here whatsoever. Subway card, you don't get that anymore. Oh, he's got a Nando's card, yeah, no more points for you. Government of Pakistan, national identity. Here you go, guys. Yeah, no, you don't need that. HSBC, that's my card, number one. Thank you very much. Sparkly's card, gone. In the back here, where you're supposed to have a bit of cash, what do you have? Oh, a bunch of receipts. What a complete pointlessness is this? What's this? Let's see. Home base, 23rd of September. Why do you still have that? Oh, boots. What date is the one on boots? 12th of November. Sax diner, 19th of flipping September. Why do you still have that? More home base. Petrol station, flipping selfridges, more home base. God, you really love home base, don't you, Sid? Is that where you're coming from every day when you lose your wallet? Mac flipping Donalds, 28th of November. You really need that receipt. Oh my God, then we have some London Underground, 17th of September. Birmingham Airport, yeah, the last holiday we had was six months ago. Another London Underground. And we've got Hagen Dazs from London. You really need this, don't you, Sid? You really need a piece of shit wallet. Because if you're gonna have a wallet, you look after it and you look after its contents. You don't misplace it and then tell your wife to look for it. Do you understand? Yes. Grab some proper scissors. Run it up. Wives like me are absolutely sick of husband's wallets. That goes for keys too, by the way. This feels so good. Yeah. What? Have you seen my wallet? Yeah, I've got your wallet. Come on then, I go. Yeah, I'll just bring it to you in a minute. One sec. Here's your wallet. Why'd you do that for? Next time, make sure you don't lose your wallet.